everyone. Hi, welcome to Mimi in the Kitchen. Um, I just wanted to show real quick how I'm making my vegetable broth with, um, I'm sorry, vegetable soup with my homemade vegetable broth that I made last night. So if you want to look over here, um, Colton Wong, you can Hi. see right here, this is the trilogy that you start with when you make any type of soup or I like to do it in my chili. I like to do it with a lot of different, um, I guess as a base, you do your celery, onions, and carrots. Um, I like to make everything on the weekend so that I have it throughout the week. I cut my veggies. I cut, uh, we do carrots. I put them in baggies for the kids' lunches so that I don't have to freak out um, on every single morning for lunch to make lunches. And I am going to start my pot. Now, this is the veggie broth that I made last night. I put some in the refrigerator, and this may blow some people's minds, but I actually kept this veggie broth out on the stove with the lid on it. It's not going to kill you if you leave some food out overnight, I promise, because I do it all the time, and I am still kicking, um, much to maybe the dismay of some people who might not like me, <laughs> but that's okay. So, I don't have any special amount that I like to use. I just kind of do it by feel um, what I feel like that particular day. This particular soup is going to be cabbage soup. So, it is so delicious, and you can add stuff to it. I basically do my carrots, onions, celery. I'm going to saute those. Then I am going to add some zucchini because I have one extra zucchini from last night. And then I'm going to add my cabbage. Today I feel like spicy. So I'm going to use some of my famous spice that I love, my sea dog rub, that I get from Supplement Superstore. And um, not sugar, that's out because my husband's been using that instead of aspartame in his coffee, which is a good thing because he feels a lot better. So, as always, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of olive oil and, of course, supplement it with some canola spray. I have it on medium, high heat. I always just kind of feel I'm ready to put this stuff in. Um, it's all cut and ready to go, but I'm not ready yet. And I also wanted to tell you guys, when you're trying to lose weight or, you know, maintain your weight or whatever, no matter what you do, moving-wise helps. Go out. I, like this morning, I didn't have a lot of time, so I just ran a mile, and that was it. I mean, that might seem like a lot to some people, and to some other people, it might not seem like anything. So whatever works for you and your schedule, you got to make it your own. And, of course, I always, 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 and because this is probably going to be at least five or six servings of soup, I'm going to put... A nice amount of olive oil on there. Um, and then I'm just going to coat the bottom, as you can see here. Just kind of coating it around. And I am going to add garlic, because I can't live without garlic. And then um, I'll put some of this garlic in. I am going to use a pretty generous amount of garlic. Now you can hear it sizzling. A little bit fizzle and or sizzle and of course I always use my wooden spoon so just know that you guys are not alone if, if anybody out there is trying to be healthy people are trying to be healthy every single day it is not easy just get up and do it every single day um, or the days that you actually can because especially if people like travel and stuff I know that that is just so hard mm. typically I don't like to mix my veggies when I saute them but for this particular all these three types of veggies celery carrots and onions thank you Colton Wong um, for this these three particular Veggies, they all cook about the same way, so that's why I like to do them all together. And to me, I have no idea if this is better, but I really like um, that they feed off of each other, and they will make each other um, blend together and kind of get the flavors together. So I'm just going to saute that until it's soft, 
and I'm going to cut my zucchini. Now, the zucchinis can get kind of watery. It doesn't bother me at all. It might bother you. So if you want to get the seeds out um, and not cook it as long as the other, be my guest because it is yours. So you got to make it your own and make it to your taste. If you don't like zucchini, don't use it. Um, I always just kind of do whatever I have in the house. And I'm going to add, in addition to the garlic and the sea dog, I'm going to add something to make it extra, no, I don't want to make it extra spicy, so I'm going to do some tomato sauce. And I'll put that in after I add my broth. And what I'll probably do with this, because there's so much of it, I'm going to heat this broth up just to kind of medium. And I'll be adding my trio into the broth. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And you can hear it. It sounds beautiful. I don't season anything until it's cooked. And then like with your sauces um, or broths, you don't want to season anything until it comes to a boil because you want once it comes to a boil, it, it sometimes will um, boil off the flavor, so you want to keep that flavor in there. Okay, so I'm just going to add my zucchini. I just wanted to do this really quick, show it to you. I'll come back on, show you the um, finished product in about probably 10 minutes. Have a great Sunday morning.